says that a man is incomplete until he's married. Then he's really finished. <laughs> you get it now, you get it on your way home. <laughs> Ladies, please don't be mad at me, honestly. I'm just going by what they say. And who is they? I have no idea whatsoever. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmaster, most honored guests. Marriage, the union between man and woman. But before this magical moment takes place in our life, there's a step that a man must make. Some would call it a walking of the burning coals. Others would say taking the road less traveled. And others may even go to the extreme of saying a walk into the abyss. <laughs> what is this event that I'm talking about? The proposal. Yes, the proposal. Single guys, y'all can take notes now. <laughs> the proposal. The proposal, the event that make many men shake in their boots. And if they live in Southern California, they're shaking in their sandals. <laughs> and for women, a moment of celebration and happiness as they celebrate their new best friend for life. Not the guy, the diamond, of course. <laughs> y'all know that. But marriage. I recently went through this rite of passage myself in life. And I want to share with you a little bit about my own journey, some of the highs and lows of my own proposal. But before I do so, I think that it's very important that I share with you the history and the tradition of the proposal and also share with you how guys all around the world are letting their ladies know, I finally want to spend the rest of my money, I mean life, <laughs> with you. Now, while doing my research, and I traveled all around the world and talked to many historians and philosophers via the internet. And once I did my research, I came across some fascinating information. And it really caught my attention to see some of the things that were taking place how guys chose their wives throughout history. One of them being a guy would pay the family of his bride-to-be to take her hand in marriage. So that would signify to them that he was financially able to take care of their daughter. Can you picture that happening now in today's economy and time, going up to him, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Jenkins, you know me and Brendan have been together for a while now, and um, I just would like to take her hand in marriage. And I know it's not much, but, um, Here's five dollars. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that would fly. It would be quite embarrassing. Another would be kidnapping. Can you believe it? Back in the past, they used to kidnap. If you could kidnap your bride out of her home, she was yours. Can you imagine is that happening today? Guys snooping around windows looking. I'm going to get in there. Yeah, you think gun sales are up now. Wait till that happens. And last but not least, the arranged marriage. Now that still takes place in certain parts of the world today with the arranged marriage. But can you picture that as a senior in high school coming home and your mom said, John, I got great news. What is it, mom? You know Agnes down the street? Yeah, that's your wife. What? <laughs> Agnes with the bifocal glasses and a corduroy sweater? Yeah, she's your wife. Yeah, but today I'm so glad that men have the choice in choosing who they're, going, who they're going to marry. So it was interesting in this, and guys all around the world were doing different ways of proposing. But I'm gonna to touch on some of the simple <clears throat> to the most extreme ways. Now the simple way would be to take your girl out to dinner, pop the question over a nice meal. Also, you may do a family surprise, a surprise party, invite her family and friends there. But there's always some guys that wanna push the envelope. Some guys that wanna take the bar up, and these are the guys that we hate because they always want to set the bar higher for the next guy. And some of the most craziest proposals that I've really seen out there, and they were crazy proposals, where these guys just did some things that were extreme. This one particular scenario, a guy wanted to do a commercial for his girl and ask her for her hand in marriage. Wow. So what he did, he set up a website, and he had a lot of people traffic on this website. He had this out to major news station, and everyone was into it. He raised $89,000. He originally wanted to do it for the Super Bowl ad, but the only thing about it, you know, of course it costs like $2 million to put an ad out. But he did get it on her local favorite show, and that was his way of saying, will you marry me? Another guy had another creative way also. He set up a party on top of a five-story building. Her family and friends were there. So he said, attention everyone. He got to the corner of the building and he said, Jane, it's that time for me to ask you a serious question and I'm ready for 
you to take that next chapter in life with me. John, can you throw me the ring? And the guy threw the ring, and he dove for it, and he fell over the building. <laughs> and you should have seen the face of his girlfriend when she ran and thought he fell over the building, and he was laying there on an inflatable that said, will you marry me? Oh. Yeah, it was pretty awesome there. But this one guy, he just really went overboard with it. He staged a drug raid. He had a houseboat. And the crazy part about it, in the middle of the night while they were asleep, a helicopter flew over. And then next thing you know, they had dogs and police officers running in, in his houseboat and woke them up. So they went to his girlfriend's purse, got the purse, found the fake substance that they had planted on it, and said, we have some illegal narcotics here. So they put her in handcuffs. And as she was walking out handcuffed out of the houseboat, there he was, bending knee, saying, will you marry me? Now, that's a quick way to get married and divorced at the same time. <laughs> yeah. But they, those were a lot of amazing stories there. And as I told you earlier, I want to share with you about my own proposal and some of the things that happened to me. Let's see, where can I start here? <coughs> Other than saying that it was great. It was amazing. It was awesome. What, you thought I was going to talk bad about my own proposal? <laughs> you see that camera right there? You should have seen it. Hi, babe, I love you. <laughs> see, guys, take notes. If there's one thing that you'll learn tonight, that is never start a battle that you can't win, you'll be a lot happier in life for it. Mr. Toastmaster. <laughs>